When you think of probation, you think of enforcement, something punitive. But for one East Bay County, the theme is rehabilitation. As Sharon Chin shows us, it's because of this week's Jefferson Award winner. James Rivers was a Marine who planned to go into law enforcement, but he ended up working in probation and becoming what some call the treatment guru. It's helped. 19 year old Sarah Enemark had a special message for James Rivers. Thank you. Because, <laughs> like, without him, like, none of this would have happened for me. Hey, Michelle, you called? James is a probation manager at the Contra Costa County Probation Department. He helped put in place in the girls' residential and family therapy programs that Sarah says transformed her life. Are you with your mom, Ann? As a teenager, drug addiction kept her in and out of juvenile hall, but now she's clean, has her GED, and a job. Like, I've changed everything since I got out. Like, like I don't even, like, really recognize myself sometimes. Like, I'm a totally new person. That could be an arrest for those charges. Over two decades, James has worked as county probation counselor, officer, supervisor, and now manager. Colleagues credit him with ushering in a new era of reform that focuses on rehabilitating young people who get into trouble with the law. We had the same kids um, that would come back over and over again, and... Uh, we created our own in-house treatment program. Sarah, for example, went to Girls in Motion, the county's first treatment program that keeps young offenders in a locked facility so they don't run away before they get the help they need. This place kind of like helped me learn a little bit of discipline and like respect. James has led the effort to incorporate so-called evidence-based practices, treatments that have been tested through scientific studies. James says there are no numbers, but anecdotally, those who've gone through the rehabilitation programs are less likely to reoffend. They're returning to the community and they're they're returning to school. They're not using drugs. Um, they're getting jobs or being productive. Juvenile Hall Director Leisha Roth says thanks to James, probation staff now teach young people how to problem solve to make better decisions, like when kids want to get into a fight. We would teach the youth to look at the pros to getting into a fight and the cons and then what the long and short term consequences are for making those types of decisions. Thank you very much. It's not easy training your colleagues to use new methods, but Leisha says James's longtime service in probation and his people skills have earned him respect. He's very personable, very understanding. He listens to when people are talking to him. We do treatment in this county, and we not only do treatment, we do treatment with quality. Okay. So for changing the lives of young people in Contra Costa County's juvenile justice system, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to James Rivers. And James says he uses the same problem-solving tools in his own home with his mm -hmm. own kids. That's telling you. They isn't? work. <laughs> hey, this is a special day because today is the 45th anniversary of the Jefferson Awards Foundation. So why not mark the occasion with a donation? You can log on to our website, cbssf.com hero.